Hey guys, today what we're going to do, we're going to edit a user's profile from the Azure AD portal. The first step as usual, we're going to go to portal.azure.com. Going to sign in with my administrator account. Remember this account needs some sort of level of privilege that allows you to edit a user's profile. Respond to my MFA. this for now okay so I'm going to go to the Azure Active Directory now, this is appearing here because I commonly go into this uh, portal but if you click here up in the top left hand side you can find the Azure Active Directory blade in here open it up I'm going to select users This is the account we previously created together. And this is the user's profile. So here you'll see there is some existing attributes that we may have created. But keep in mind, this is a cloud only account. If we were syncing this account from on-premises Active Directory, we would be making these modifications from on-premises. So we would be using uh, Active Directory on a Windows server somewhere to modify the account and then sync the account back to Azure AD. But for now, we're using Azure AD with, because we're using a cloud-only account. Now, if I click on Edit, should be able to edit any attributes that the user may have. As some of these don't come up, when you're creating the new user, you'll need to go in after and add them or modify them. So the name and the last name and the display name will leave the same because we created them successfully before. What we might do here is we might add the company name, just cloud context, if I can spell it correctly, employee ID, let's go with one, two, three, four, five, six. And here we can fill out all the street address information. We use the same, same sort of attributes you would have on premises. The mobile phone number, we can just put one in there. Street address, we've got one, two, three, fake street. Go fake. Ville. Actually, we'll put. New South Wales here, Australia here, city we can put Fakeville, postcode we'll just put Sydney's postcode, and you get the general idea. You can also change the manager, let's make it myself. We could also at this point upload a photo of John Smith if we want a photo to come up in the directory. Then hit save. In this portal, we can also assign a role to the user. So if we wanted to make John Smith an administrator, let's say a user administrator, for example, we would tick this box here and just select add. We want to see any groups that the user might be a member of that will come up here and if we want to add him to any groups we can just go add memberships let's add him to the IT team group that we previously created if we want to assign any applications to allow him access we can 
we can't do it from here but we can view them from here any licenses that we may want to assign John Smith we can do it from here as well I don't have any available at the moment but if I did I could just tick the license here and click Save Any devices John Smith uses to log in or uses to access anything in Azure Active Directory we can see in here. Any authentication methods, so if he's set up multi-factor authentication, they will come up here as well. If you ever needed to revoke those MFA tokens, you could also do that from using this button. And if you ever required someone to re-register their devices as an MFA device, you could do that from here. And if you just basically wanted to see anything that the user has signed into, you could do that from the sign in activity console. And if you want to see any changes to the user's account, we can see that from audit logs. So here you'll see me creating the account updating the account so anything that's logged will pop up here and you'll see who's create who's initiated that action as well that's probably about it for now when it comes to modifying users uh, at some stage we'll go back and do the same thing but from on-premises active directory thank you